Hi, I'm Dave Utso, and here's our introduction to the AIX Fundamentals course. AIX is a registered trademark of IBM. It stands for Advanced Interactive Executive. IBM is notorious for acronyms, and here's another one. Advanced Interactive Executive. What it really is, is another Unix, and it runs on IBM's RS6000. So the description here of this course, first we start with the, the core technology of what is the AIX series made up of. We learn the basic tools and concepts necessary to be proficient in AIX. We focus on directories, files, utilities, commands, and a lot of attention to security. More and more security and network security and all of it has become very important over the past few years. A lot of labs, the more flight time the better. I like to call it flight time. So we have some hands-on labs that you do at your leisure on your computer. You log in, log off, and, and actually become efficient, proficient in AIX. So we identify the tools needed to create and remove files and directories. We learn about the directory structure, how to navigate the directory structure. Similar to, to Microsoft, we have a, a, a directory and we have the root directory and how we get around there and how the system works, why the architecture, why things are located in certain directories, what do I need to go there and do things? How do I modify the contents of a file? This is important for everyone to know, not just the system's administrator, but how do I modify a file? Not just a system configuration file, but any kind of file that might be on the system, whether I'm a database administrator or just a casual user. Permissions, very high on the list of things to know about Unix. How to set the permissions and change the permissions for files and directories. And how do I get out of trouble? We spend a lot of time, how do I get out of trouble? What if? The book says, don't do this. What if I did? We use our utilities. We have many, many utilities. Uh, text manipulation, file manipulation utilities. And to understand and get in the mind of the programmers who wrote this sort of thing and understand what they're really trying to accomplish. So we can become much more efficient. We'll write some scripts, some very simple scripts. A script is a little program, um, and we'll be able to, to write some, understand what they're doing, and why scripting is such a popular career in itself in Unix. How we control processes, schedule processes. Uh, Unix is automatic scheduler. How do we run a process at a later date and time using cron and some other utilities as well? How to log in, log off the system. How do I get out of trouble? What if I see an error message? What do I do? We run some basic com commands with emphasis on security. So more and more security built into this course. Prerequisites, I assume you know nothing. However, it would be nice if you had some introduction to data processing, familiarity with some sort of Microsoft but really no formal prerequisites. We'll start from the very beginning. If you already have some knowledge of Unix or Linux or any of these, this is excellent review as well. Topics include getting started, files and directories, listing files. How do I list them? When was this file created? When was this file last modified? How do I manipulate files? What are the utilities to manipulate these files around the directory structure? And what can I do to get out of trouble and prevent getting in trouble? Viewing the contents of a file all the different ways. So I'll often say, look at the contents of this file. And what do I do if I get into trouble? Text manipulation. How do I manipulate the contents of a file? Now that I've found the file and was looking at it, how do I manipulate that? File security, more and more permissions. So definitely high on the list of things to know. File descriptors, input, output, 
how do I control those processes using redirection and file descriptors 0, 1, and 2? What are those all about? Pipes and processes. What is a pipe? What's the difference between a pipe and redirection? What is a process? What is this child-parent relationship in Unix that makes Unix so much more dependable than the other's competition? The shell. What is a shell? Why do I need to know about a shell? What are its properties? What are its options? What can I do by changing shells? How do I get out of trouble? Writing scripts. A shell is also a programming language, so depending what shell you use, you have a different programming language. And we'll write a few simple scripts. Processes, child-parent relationship, background-foreground processes, the priority, how to kill a process, uh, the default signal for the kill command, and a whole lot more. We'll use the network. Our systems administrator will set it up for it, but how do I use this securely? How do I log into another system? Uh, how do I find out what my IP address is? But a little bit about the network, at least with regards to using it. And then finally, some, some of the systems administrator jobs. What does he do? Why is he paid the big bucks? What's his responsibility? If I get into trouble, can I call him? What can he do for me? Who is he? Lots of lab exercises found throughout the modules. You can get them off our website in Word format, and I strongly suggest that you do those labs on your system at your leisure. The descriptions of the solutions also can be downloaded. If you have any questions or comments, please use the question comment box at our website, gogo.com. Thank you very much.